I don't usually do these type of videos and there's a very good reason for that because I don't know the first thing about electronics. So this is not an attempt to take on Big Clive or Julian Eilert or anything like that because I openly admit that I don't know anything about electronics. Well, little bits and pieces, but uh, nothing major. What I want to show you today is my uh, CCTV system. I've been using this CCTV system. It's the uh, Yale 4 camera 1080p system. And I've been using it for six months now. This box has been sat happily running without error for six months. So I thought it was a good time to just crack it open, take a look inside it, see how sort of nicely it's, uh, nicely it's built. But also because one of my cameras failed. And uh, these are the cameras you get with it. it these are the uh, 1080p outdoor camera, 12 volt, um, 500 milliamp cameras with, of course, your kind of infrared LEDs on the front there and um, one of these failed so what's actually happened with this camera is uh, the one of the color channels has gone uh, so it doesn't anything that's green doesn't show so if you imagine taking all the green element out of uh, an RGB you know red green blue color feed uh, that's what you get so the camera's working you can see what's going on it's fine and at night time it's black and white anyway so you don't notice the difference uh, so I thought well I'll take the camera apart too so you can see inside the camera so let's start with the box let's start with the main box this is the two terabyte version which means that with four cameras running at uh, 1080p at sort of good quality so not best quality at good quality which is quite sufficient and uh, the, the footage from this is is really not bad quality considering the limitations of these devices uh, will get you about two weeks uh, it's actually about 15 days I, st I tend to get uh, can vary a little bit depending on where your cameras are placed because it is variable bitrate that it records at so there will be some differences from one system to another you know if you're just filming something that has absolutely no motion I imagine based on you know with the way codecs work, I imagine you would get a little bit more from it. Uh, before I take the cover off, actually, before I take the last screw out, let's take a look at the back. Uh, so here you can see the eight inputs. It actually supports eight inputs, but only four of those at 1080p. So don't think that if you get this, you can attach your four cameras at 1080p and then get another four cameras uh, to add on at a later time. These four cameras will not record at 1080 if you've already got four set up at 1080p. There's your um, audio out, VGA out, HDMI out, which is nice because it just connects straight to my TV. Uh, and then you've got four channels of all mono audio in on there. This is for the mouse, for the user interface. This is to back stuff up and transfer uh, across to like an external drive. This is the LAN connector, the Ethernet connector, obviously. And this is the uh, RS-485 connector, which I think is to do with um, PT, PTZ, so uh, pan, tilt, zoom uh, cameras and sort of delivering power to those. I could be wrong with that. Uh, and then your DC 12 volts in, so no internal power supply in this device. Uh, it just It's a fairly standard device really, but it is, you know, from what I've seen previously, it is fairly nicely put together. It retails about £400, I think, so you can get CCTV systems out there of equivalent spec on paper for about, I don't know, for about um, 150 or something. But I've seen footage from them, and there is no comparison. And I've also seen the mobile apps that accompany them, and they're just a joke. I mean, they're just unusable compared to the Yale app on this, which is really nicely supported and very, very good. I mean, it's, it's really, really useful. If you, wanna, if you want me to kind of talk to show you through the mobile app, just put a comment below, and um, I'll, I can do that in a separate video. So here we go, here's the inside of the device and you can see really nicely laid out. As a, you know, I've, I've opened this once before, when I'm, you know, soon after I got it, and I was quite impressed by how well laid out everything is. I just like devices that don't have everything rammed in. This runs cool as anything. You can, you know, you can barely tell it's on when you put your hand on top and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, as long as you've got suitable ventilation. Uh, it, you, you know, it's just about warm to the touch. The drive that's used in here, let me just uh, zoom in a touch on this now. Uh, the drive that's used in here is the uh, Western Digital, two terabytes, and these are the WD purple, purple drives. 
it's a surveillance hard drive. So they say it's specifically designed for kind of just continuous running. Uh, it's not transferring data at massive speeds, but it's just working continuously. I don't really know if that's just kind of a way of selling sort of segmenting drives, you know, market segmentation stuff, or whether there is any real difference between them. But this is, uh, so it's a so two terabyte uh, hard drive. And let's just move over to the board. And uh, presumably, I mean, that's obviously the, the main sort of CPU that does the business. There's no fan in here. It's, you, can, you get noise from the drive. It makes a whirring sound, but there's no fan on the actual CPU. It uh, it's, it's runs cool enough to just be supported by a kind of fairly, you know, fairly modest heat sink. Uh, so that's good because there's no kind of noise in the background. Little buzzer here. This is the little alarm that goes off. So you can set uh, when people come into, you know, a certain area, it can it can fire an alarm and you can hear this It's pretty loud it's like um, a really loud PC speaker uh, you've got your SATA connections here and only one of them is connected at the moment I'm just gonna have a quick look because what does it say on the board does it say I can uh, connect another one on there yeah I'm not sure whether if you connect another one on here whether this is solely used for uh, backing up stuff or whether you can then write more to it. I imagine you can configure them both ways. Not 100% certain on that. And the rest of it, I'm not sure. As I say, I don't know the first thing about this. Backup battery, standard standard kind of stuff. Let's see if I can I just reach in a little bit more on this. And, uh, and it's some kind of, I don't know what this would be used for. Anyone know what this is used for on here? I'm kind of leaning into the camera, sorry. Not too sure. It's really, it's really nice, but just really, it just kind of inspires confidence when you look at this board. It doesn't look like it's just been thrown together. Um, but of course, I assume they are pretty mass produced. There's the uh, SVGA out there. And a couple of free ports down the bottom here as well. Uh, I assume that's used for some additional stuff that connects to, so this one connects to the LED array on the front. Uh, so this one, I, don't, I really don't know. I mean, these are just for, for different models. You've got a standard uh, old style power supply for the SATA drive, which just connects straight into the back of the drive. So um, I imagine you could connect a second drive to that using that same power supply. Uh, yeah, I imagine that would work. OK. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, pretty pretty nice in there isn't it you know it's uh, it works I mean the proof is in whether it works or not and this has worked wonderfully well so far so I've got absolutely no complaints about this it's a, it's a nicely made device nice and simple inside yeah so that's the um, that's the Yale 1080p CCTV system I got this from B&Q in the UK uh, they're kind of the main people who um, stock these uh, you can imagine you can get them on on Amazon as well I mean Amazon's stock everything don't they so pretty sure you can get this on Amazon too right let's take a let's put this to one side and let's take a quick look at the camera so the camera just has this little hood on top it's made out of what feels like I mean it's metal but it feels just sort of like a quite brittle mag alloy um, composite of some kind I, don't, I really don't know but it's um but it is metal and if you consider that this has been this camera has been outside for for six months now. I only replaced it a couple of days ago. Um, oh, by the way, it went faulty, and I, I t tweeted um, Yale and said my camera's gone faulty after a couple of months. Can you? Well, you know, it's not really good enough. La di da. You know, blah, blah blah complaints. And they came back to me within an hour and said, "Fine, we'll replace it. Let's know your address. We'll send you a new one." And I got a new one within a week. So. I, as far as customer service goes, I cannot complain. But this has been outside for six months, and look at the condition of it. I mean, this, it's been through a kind of winter period, and look at the condition. It's ama an amazing condition. Uh, and this was on the uh, south side of our house as well, which by far gets the worst weather. So we've got our O-ring here to, to seal against um, moisture. And that, it, that section is just a nice glass front and then we have our main 
camera here with this, I assume that that's the sensor to, uh, to tell it the level of light, when to fire these off and, um, and you know, switch it, pull the filter in place to switch it from uh, IR mode to, uh, to daylight mode. And then under there you can, it's really all there is to it. The rest of this is under there is just a void. It's just uh, completely empty. The only bits of the camera are, are here. So I might just take this, uh, this top bit off and show you underneath there if that will come off. Just a second. Yeah, it would be um, be much more meaningful th this kind of video coming from someone who could tell you all about what all the electronic bits did and stuff. But I thought I'd just do it anyway. As you know, if anyone's curious about how well built these things are, I think it tells you quite a lot about that, even if it doesn't tell you exactly how everything works. So this just lifts off and then underneath there that's kind of a nice sort of, uh, I don't know if that's a seal or, um, or what on there, I think it might be some kind of seal so I'm going to struggle to get that back on and, uh, and that's, as you can see there really isn't not much to it at all, just a couple of um, ICs on the board there, la di da, no idea. Uh, don't know, what, don't know what that is. It's just a tiny little camera camera module, and um, supported on these, you know, posts, and that's it. Works great though. I mean, the quality is uh, is is excellent. But I mean, this camera's going in the bin anyway, so uh, I'm not too bothered about whether I can get it back together again or not. But uh, yeah, so infrared on this will work, I think, about 35 meters, and it does work well. Uh, it uh, happily illuminates my ca the areas that I need it to illuminate. Uh, so there you go, that's, uh, that's inside one of their cameras. And of course, they come with the standard BNC type connector here, and there's the power in. You can see the um, amalgamating tape that I had on here while it was outside, and this is a 12 volts in. I, I've got this running over a 30 meter cable, and I tested the voltage at, at 30 meters, and it, the voltage drop is negligible, to be honest. Uh, I thought it'd be much more over 30 meters, but the uh, cable is obviously good enough, and uh, the voltage drop across that is, uh, is fine. So, yeah, there we go. A look inside the camera and the main unit of the uh, Yale 1080p four camera CCTV system. Thanks for watching. Any questions you've got on the system or how you use it or you know what the results are like or I can't really show you any footage because uh, as a registered CCTV controller, you know data um, controller, I can't just put footage on social media. It just kind of isn't how it works. Uh, but uh, if you are interested in seeing anything, then just you know let me know. Send me a, send me a message or something. Uh, and if you've got any questions on how you use it and how it do, whether it will work for this or whatever, just um, put, the, put them in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best I can. I've got a fair amount of experience with this system now. And, uh, and don't forget to read my post on CCTVs because uh, when I set this up, I wrote a big kind of article on all the things I learned about setting up a CCTV system, which I put on my website. So um, take a look at that. I'll post a link uh, to that uh, just up here. So thanks very much for watching and catch you soon.